Ariam Slay, serving as a border post between Namibia and South Africa, is situated 110 kilometers east of Karasper along the B3 National Road. Despite its strategic location, Ariam Slay struggles with limited access to water and electricity. Residents have voiced their concerns, highlighting the pressing needs for reliable and affordable basic services. Linda Afrikaner is a community leader from the local authority and advocate for development in Ariams Flay. We are looking for the prepaid water services. The accounts are already skyrocketing and we can't keep up. If you can at least get the prepaid, then we know. They say it's the lime, but if one bed is able to get it, why not us? We had prepaid and it was much cheaper for us. There is no lime. That's why we feel that we need it back. So if you buy with a 30, then the 20 is for water, and the 10 goes to the old debts, then we won't have any debts. The community is urging the government to write off areas owed by pensioners because they are not able to pay off the debt they are drowning in. The pensioners' debts should be written off because it is very high, or cut off halfway or something. Things are very expensive here. These payments that these people are getting here is not even enough. You buy once or twice, then it is done. Then they sit with hunger. That's why I think the prepaid services will really help. We are really suffocating in this situation. And if it can be taken up, we will really appreciate it. Ariam's Flay's plea underscores the broader challenges faced by remote settlements in Namibia, where access to basic amenities remains a critical issue. Community leaders hope their call will prompt swift action from authorities to address these pressing needs. Johanan Urikos, NBC News, Ariams Flay.